Good morning all. Today we will be dealing with the topic casting tickets. The previous classes was regarding the casting procedures and the casting machines. So we will be dealing with casting defect today. So what is casting defect? Casting defects are any impression or irregularities that result in unsuccessful casting which interfere with the fit of the final restoration or its aesthetic and mechanical properties. That is a basic definition of casting defects. So we have to know what all are the common types of casting defects or the failures of casting. This basically involves first one distortion, second one surface roughness and irregularities, third one various kinds of porosities and the fourth one incomplete or missing details. And within the porosities there are actually three kinds of porosities that can happen. This includes solidification defects. This basically involves the localized shrinkage porosity and micro porosity. Then the trapped gases, it includes the pinhole porosity, gas inclusion porosity and subsurface porosity and the third one residual air. And in the localized shrinkage porosity, there is something called as a suckback porosity also. Okay. Just be familiar with these names. So basically casting defects includes distortion, surface roughness and irregularities, porosities, the incomplete or missing details and within the porosity solidification defects are there which includes the localized shrinkage porosity and micro porosity then the second one trapped gases it includes the pinhole porosity gas inclusion porosity and subsurface porosity and the last one basically due to the residual air that is remaining in the mold cavity so coming on to distortion from the name itself the only thing that can get distorted or change its shape due to some pressure or something during the casting procedure is actually the wax. So distortion, it is basically related to wax. Okay, so why it is occurring to wax? Because it is due to the high tendency of the wax to deform. It's high coefficient of thermal expansion that is around 35 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree Celsius. It's low softening temperature, then warping of the wax when it is unrestrained, then you all know that distortion increases as the thickness of the pattern decrease, uh, decreases. So you can imagine a thin piece of wax and a thick piece of wax and if even if there is a mild change in temperature, the shape deformation or the distortion is more will be with the thin one. Then the lower is the setting expansion of the investment, the less lower is the distortion. That is whenever there is too much of setting expansion, it can distort the wax pattern. So the wax pattern process we know. now. At what all time it can occur? It can occur prior to investing, that is a pre-investing, and during the investing, that is a during investing procedure. So pre-investing, pre-investing, this is basically due to temperature at which the wax pattern is fabricated. That is, lesser temperature at which the wax pattern is made, more chances that distortion may occur due to the internal stress release during the increase in temperature. More the storage time and temperature, more will be the distortion. This is the basic in the pre-investing and there is something you can consider in the wax is that it has got small amount of elastic memory that is when you do some cold working or when you strain the wax little bit and whenever there is a slight increase in temperature it has a small tendency to get back into its original form okay. so how we can prevent all this first thing is that we have to uniformly soften the wax by heating at 50 degrees celsius for at least 15 minutes then reducing the time between the wax fabrication and investing. That is, we shouldn't hold back more than 30 minutes. If we are to wait more than 30 minutes, it's better to store in refrigerator. Then readaptation of the margins after the storage. That is, we have to do remargination just prior to the investing procedure so that the accuracy at the margins are maintained. Okay. Otherwise, there will be since the wax being too thin at the margins, there is more chances that it might get distorted in the margin area. So we have to do re-adaptation or re-margination. Then we have to always carefully remove the wax pattern from the dye with symmetrical forces. Okay, if you apply too much pressure, it's surely gonna distort. Then wax pattern can be retained in the dye for several hours to avoid the distortion. We should just place the wax pattern alone as such. Okay, so it should be placed over the dye. And during investing, we have to 
it, it can occur during the pouring of the investment, expansion of the investment material and movement of the investment ring before the hardening of the investing material. So to provide, we have to pour the investment material gently. There shouldn't be any movement of the ring before hardening of the investment material. Now coming on to the surface roughness and irregularities. Okay. So what is surface roughness? Surface roughness uh, or roughness is defined as relatively finely spaced surface imperfection whose height, width and direction establish the predominant surface pattern. And irregularities refers to isolated imperfections such as nodule that do not characterize the total surface area. So surface roughness, it is related to the basically related to the particle size of the investment and its ability to reproduce the wax pattern in microscopic detail. That is, if the investment material is too thick or uh, in consistency while pouring, it has less ability to reproduce the wax pattern finely. So, uh, you can see from the image that this is basically some casting irregularities, surface irregularities that is commonly seen. It's the air bubble. Uh, due to an air bubble in the investment, you will get a nodule. Then water fill. It can cause a small depression. Then infusion of foreign bodies. The foreign body can also cause a small depression in the cast. So first nodules. Small nodules on the casting are caused by air bubbles that becomes attached to the pattern during or subsequent to the investment procedure. Removal of the nodules on margins or an internal surface might cause marginal discrepancy or alter the fit of the casting. On the occlusal surface, it usually affects the occlusal anatomy. So the best method to avoid air bubble is to use vacuum investing technique and also by use of a wetting agent. Now the second one is the water filling. If the investment becomes separated from the wax pattern, water film may form irregularly over the surface. This type of surface irregularity appears as minute ridges or veins on the surface. It's basically due to too high liquid powder ratio and also lack of use of any wetting agent. So we have to use a proper wetting agent to prevent this kind of irregularity. Now the next one is the foreign bodies. The, any casting that shows sharp, well-defined deficiency indicate the presence of some foreign particle in the mold, such as pieces of investment and bits of carbon from a flex. It results in surface roughness and also incomplete casting areas or surface voids. So, there are some other um, surface irregularities that may occur. It include, it include the mold cracking or fits on the casting. So, this occur mainly due to few reasons. First one is too rapid heating. So, when too rapid heating is done, there will be unequal expansion of the investment. So, the outside portion gets heated and expands more in compa more compared to the inner one. And when the expansion in the outer portion is more compared to the in uh, inner one, there occurs small crack that can progress into the inside surface. So, during the, when the molten metal comes into the mold space and due to the plastic pressure also, it can creep into these cracks and produces fins. And it is most commonly present in cristobalite investment, which has low inversion temperature. The second thing is due to lack of thickness of the investment material due to the pattern of the uh, wax positioning and also due to uh, the placement of the investment material before it is thoroughly set. So the pattern position, when many patterns are present in the same plane, prevention is by investing more than one pattern in different plane. Allow one millimeter space between the patterns. Then the second thing, patterns place too close, close to the ring wall or near to the ring end. So we should place like that and the pattern should be at least 4 to 5 mm from the mold wall and end and the end. Then investment not thoroughly set. It is prevented by longer spatulation increasing the uh, temperature uh, of the liquid and allow to set in a warmer room. Other causes include prolonged heating. This can lead to disintegration of the investment and contaminate the casting, producing loss of surface structure. Second is the casting pressure being too high. Then reuse of the metal alloy and improper pickling. Okay. The casting pressure is too high. It can upgrade the mold wall and uh, due to this pressure leading to minor loss of the investment particle and this fine details. And the improper pickling means uh, it's basically the gold alloy and due to handling it with a silver tuser. Stainless steel, you choose